Axolotl. It took me well over 10 hours to get these little blue ones. And they're still my favorite little buddies. Now, if you didn't see, I gave them all their own little room right here that I think is absolutely adorable. But y'all keep demanding more from me. So then I flew out here to this area right outside my city and I made them their own entire temple. And they get to live in this little walkway where people can always look at them. I thought this was adorable, but no, you people are still not content. So today we are doing the one thing that I keep getting asked to do every time I mention Axolotl. We are making them their very own little statue and hopefully that will satiate you guys. I mean, to be fair, I do have two of my own statues. So I mean, it's only fair that they get one too. So step one of a project like this is obviously we got to go get some materials. And you're probably sitting there like, come on, tadpole. What are we going to make it out of? It's a blue axolotl. What else am I going to make it out of? Oh, this is OP. Hold on. If you're just wearing enchanted netherite, you can go invisible. They call me incognito. Anyway, I called up the Russian mafia. They said I could have some amethyst. All I got to do is run a couple truckloads to Tijuana and we're good. I did also want to use calcite, but I believe I know where a little bit is. To my other city we go. Oh, did I say calcite? Oh, oh. I meant the other white block. Actually, nowadays, there's quite a few white blocks. I was talking quartz, me baby. Hey, yo, foreign jurisdiction check. We're colonizing another island. Woohoo. So essentially, I saw this small island right here and thought, you know, I can transform this into axolotl, buddy. So much like Moss Island, we do got to clear this out just a little bit. And by clear it out, I mean absolutely devastate the landscape. Take that, PETA. I guess if I'm killing plants, PETA doesn't really care. But what would that be? PEPA? People for the ethical treatment of plants. Pet P. I don't know. I'm in college. No one said I'm smart. Ew, a capitalist. Boo! Boo! Down with the establishment. Just out here doing God's work. Why is there a hole on this island? Aren't you supposed to sink if that happens or something? This is why I don't own an island, by the way. Well, that and daddy isn't rich, but mostly the stupidity part. You wanna die, bitch? I'll put your whole bloodline in a box. Goodness, why do you have so many tritons? Aquaman, come get you, man. All right, I think I've done enough environmental damage to the island. It should be good and ready. So here's the fun part. I have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna build this thing. Freaking, I have a picture of an axolotl open on my second screen, and I'm just gonna try and freehand it. With amethyst blocks, because why not? Everybody always asks, how's the axolotl? No one ever asks how you make the axolotl. SMH my head. Out of all the mobs in the game, this thing has to have the most smush looking little face in the entire game. Mojang really down bad. Y'all didn't have to do them like that. Come on. Real animals have curves. Get your facts straight. This looks a little small for an axolotl, doesn't it? Hold on. I don't think I did the math right. This body looks tiny. Look, I'm not asking for my salamander to have a freaking dumpy here, but like, I feel like you should be a little bit bigger. Here I am trying to give unrealistic body standards to a freaking animal. Shame on me. Once again, I absolutely love working with this amethyst. Listen to this. It's so pretty! Okay, this looks remarkably small. The axolotl, that is. I'm not talking about my, uh, <clears throat> we'll call it sword. Well, because, I don't know, I feel like it should take up more of the island. Much like me, I want this to impose itself upon the land. So what if we just... Die, axolotl, die! Call you Facebook, because you're getting replaced. Freaking, this island is shaped like a lima bean. No matter how we do this, it's not going to fit very well. But what if I make, like, a little, a little base for the dude? He can sit on top of his own little throne. That's crazy cool, isn't it? Like, every time I make a statue of myself, I do that. Why can't he have one? Yeah, and then we can make this like the Egypt cat look- The Sphinx! That's what it's called. I swear I'm not having a stroke. We can make it like the Sphinx in Egypt. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. So we'll go up like five blocks, and then up here is where the little axolotl buddy's gonna be. Put him on a pedestal like a prize pet at an auction. Well, I guess you don't put pet prize farm animal? You know what I mean. Those things where I got like the animals and people like go and look and be like, oh, that's a a big pig. State fair. That's okay. Maybe I am having a stroke. It's a state fair. That's where they do that. And then here's where we got to put those little spiky doohickeys coming out of his head. I know those are gills. Okay. I know a couple of words. The brain damage hasn't spread that much yet. Do he be spitting dough? Oh yeah. That's adorable. I think this could be a very successful endeavor. All right. Now time for his vivacious tail. I don't think his tail is supposed to be taller than his body. I don't care. I'm going to bed. That's a tomorrow kind of problem. Piss. It's tomorrow. Now time to fill in his cute little body. That sounded kind of- I'm just putting amethyst in him. That somehow sounds worse. You know what I mean. It's a statue. Get your head out of the gutter. And then add his cute little arms. Oh, that is adorable. Okay, so now let's put a cute little base underneath him. Probably shouldn't have built the base before I 
actually built the thing, but you know, it'd be like that sometimes. You know, it's both pragmatic and perfect, but my only concern is, is it gorgeous enough? I got an idea for something. Give me just a moment. All right, so picture this, POV. You're looking at the temple. It's very flat, so what do you do? We adding stairs to this bad boy. Not like stairs you're gonna walk up, but you know, like ones that just add some texture to it. Nobody's gonna be grabbing it, but it'll look pretty. You gotta trust me on this one. I am the expert. And then here we can have an entrance or something. I don't know what we'll do with it, but that's pretty, isn't it? Okay, so what should we have the axolotl sitting on top of? Normally, I would say, oh my gosh, go get some like basalt or random, th something expensive to have him sit on. But come on, you can't go wrong with stone. Here's what I'll do. It's not just gonna be stone. This is Richie Rich. Ooh, fancy stone. I never remember what this stuff is called. Fancy stone. Three creepers. Three freaking creepers in here. Oh my gosh. I shouldn't be surprised. Four creepers. Are you kidding me? They committed tax evasion. We have to kill them. Anyway, what I was going to say was I forgot to do the front and the back. So like me baby or whatever. We got to put in these boys. Now before I get too attached, let's go destroy an ecosystem. I think it'd be adorable if we just threw a couple leaves around there. That way it'll remind them of what used to live there. It'll be that thing the kids on TikTok call an aesthetic. Well, call me Nickelodeon Tupperware because that is adorable. Now, while it looks good, it's clearly missing something. And as grandma always said, it looks ugly now. Light it on fire. You wouldn't believe what it'll do. And y'all know I love me some blue fire. I'm just kidding. Grandma never said that. She's dead. Oh, that is like the perfect amount of fire too. Well, let's be honest. With an axolotl, you probably don't want any fire. But like, that's beautiful. So the outside looks very good. But we're at the point in the video where I feel like I kind of need to admit there's a little bit more to this building than I need initially let on. Is it a building that just looks cool and has an axolotl on it? Of course. But will there also be certain otherworldly worships going on in the basement? Maybe. Yes. Probably. I don't know. Some might call it a cult. I don't know that I'd use those words. I'd probably call it a multi-level marketing company. You know, don't get me wrong, guys. We are still going to worship the little blue axolotl buddies. We just also like wearing special gowns and maybe we'll burn a couple things in the fires that I have in this pit. Guys, that's how we do things here. I'm a total Libra. I'm not actually Libra, but I'm also not a white woman, so I I don't really know what I am. Total Capricorn energy. So more or less, the plan for this is to make like just a big open family friendly room, you know, essentially a golden corral. And then in the middle of it, we'll just have a little bitty altar where pigs and sheep and the like come in and well, they don't come out. We'll put it that way. I really appear to have dug myself into quite the hole right here. Shut up. Don't. Okay. Shut up. That was not meant to be a pun. I don't want to hear it. I just realized it's probably going to take me like half an hour until I can record the next bit and like, I don't know. I wanted to say something in between me, baby. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a hole. So while I was digging this area out, I did come up with a plan for how we're gonna do this. Step one is going to include me having to clear out a little bit more room. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a beautiful quartz flooring in here. And then step two will be to make this place good enough that I can bring in a couple of axolotl buddies and then... I mean, let's be honest. If we're gonna be making a little organization dedicated to the blue buddies, I can't have the only one being an amethyst guy sitting on top that doesn't even move. That's just bad business. Well, heck. It would appear that I got a little carried away with the building. You walk into the temple. Baba Booey, what are you gonna see? On either side of this, I'm gonna put the little axolotl face, and then in here underneath the stairs is where our little axolotls are gonna live, and then somewhere in the center here is where we're gonna have the altar. This will be one of those, like, standing up cult. We don't need chairs. They don't deserve chairs. Oh, I'm excited about this. Okay. So to do this, I'm gonna need a little bit of sea lanterns, and we should be good. Grant, what did you do with the sea lanterns? No! I'm not wasting my time here. Shroom lights it is. Tadpole, we will be having a strict talking to when this video Video is over. And then if you're not aware of it already, of course, blue axolotls are royal blood. They will never touch water that is not surrounded by amethyst. Glass doesn't count. We need to be able to see them. Oh, heck, I forgot about the walls. If that is an axolotl face, I'm the freaking queen of England. How did I mess this up so bad? Oh, that's so ugly. Ignore everything I said. We're doing something different. Oh, axolotl face down here. I feel like this is a little too cozy for what we're going for here, but you know what? That worked. All right, that's decent enough. Okay, and then here in the very middle, we can have a little altar right there where everybody stands around and everybody holds hands and eats animal crackers and then we turn on cartoons. You don't need to know what goes on here. The less you know, the better. And honestly, with all of that out of the way, oh, blue buddy, a couple of you guys are going to a new home. I'm gonna be honest, you probably won't like it there because they do weird stuff, but you know what? They mean well. Was anyone gonna remind me these guys need water? Oh, but Tadpole, man, everyone needs water. Shut up, you know what I mean. They live in the water. I forgot to put water in here. Don't worry, little blueberry. I'll bring water one whole bucket at a time. You're gonna get that mm, hydration. That may have been the most tedious process I've ever been through, but you finally have water everywhere, little dude. And now to do it on this side. Fellas, I'm not gonna front. I am dying right now. If you 
you haven't already, please leave a like. Ugh, where are my manners? I forgot to put random stains all over the ground that signify the axolotl's power over us. Silly me. Come on, buddy, you're going to your final home. Doesn't he look so happy in there? And now they can both overlook the heinous deeds that are done in their name. Well, there you have it, fellas. I still don't really know what that was, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any other suggestions for things I should do for the blue axolotls, I'm brain dead. Go, go ahead, leave them. While you're down there, you may as well go follow me on Twitter, because I tell you, nobody does. Leave a like, subscribe, and don't commit tax fraud. I don't freaking know. I'll see you guys.